What's the crack, lads? Welcome back. It's Sunday evening. We are doing our Monday preview of the cards that are going to be coming in a couple of hours. And obviously, we will do reviews on them. We'll also be live streaming tomorrow. So, hope to see you guys in the stream. We've got something to discuss. But anyway, we do have the national midfielders, worldwide player of the weeks, Euro player of the weeks. All of these we've already covered. Obviously, the national attackers, which are going to be the legends, Collar, Rui Costa, and Stuichkov. They're going to be replaced, right? So what players are coming? This is your last chance, and when you're watching this video, you'll have a couple of hours left to get these three boys and any selection that's in there. But what's coming? What is coming on Monday, right? So as we do every Sunday, we're going to be taking a quick preview of what is going to be coming, and then tomorrow we're going to be live streaming, as we said, doing reviews, player guides, trading guides, all of the usual stuff that we do on the channel. So make sure you like and subscribe as normal. And for this, we are going to be taking a look on eFootball DB, right? So we're going to go over, these are the new player selections that are going to be coming. You've got the English League Guardians, okay? So this is going to be Ruben Diaz, Pau Torres, and all the players that you see here. You've also got Van de Ven there, who's having a great season for Tottenham before he got injured, all the way to Endo there from Liverpool. So you can see the players there that are going to be part of the English League Selection Guardians, which are coming on the 20th of November. All the assets are up there. Taking a look at a couple of the players, right? I will say that these Monday preview uh, upcoming cards are going to be fairly, I think, mixed. We haven't got a decent Ruben uh, Diaz card in a while. He's going to be on e-form as of right now, okay? But that will probably change, uh, obviously, now. We'll see. We'll have to see if his form is going to improve because I know he's been struggling with injury. Obviously, the player levels as well. I mean, he starts off, I would say that he'll probably be at like maybe even 20 Um, because his cards have been notoriously low Um levels right i don't know why that is obviously maybe he's just really overpowered especially the fact that if you pop 12 into this you're going to pretty much have all his defense this is just with 21 levels you're still going to have that acceleration or anything else that you want there or the lower body uh with the boosts but obviously as we did talk about in the last e video where we had the manager issue where it's not really shown the true stats um that is something to keep an eye on i will take leave a link to that video at the end of this video but you can get him to be a monster now if he has 23 or 24 levels you're pretty much going to be able to max out all his aerial ability um with that physical contact the header and all the defense as well we also have pau torres obviously it's guardian so it's going to be a selection i'm actually going to get rid of my way my face cam here because you can't really see the speed uh for some of these players and these strength ratings here but again with Pau Torres, even if you have 20 levels here for this guy, you're going to have a very, you know, mobile center back that is able to get up and down the pitch quite well. Um, and that is able to kind of play a couple of different roles because you have to have to remember, Liz, that this guy is extremely tall um, and extremely kind of like versatile, even though he's so tall, right? So even with 23 levels here, you'll still be able, or 24, you'll still be able to get his aerial strength quite decent with 192 centimeters for height. His defense is going to be really good, and that's with 80 speed and acceleration. So if you've missed out on the likes of Marquinhos or any of those, and you're looking for kind of a fast center back, um, then these two guys are good. Similar with Van de Ven here. I mean, if you have 25 levels on him, you will be able to get up his speed into the 88 zone, which will give you the boost. You'll also be able to get his dexterity to about 60, and then the rest of his stats can just go into his defense there if you want to go that route. Now, also, as well as that, lads, we do have, as we do have every Monday, we actually do have new legends coming, right? So I'll keep this short and sweet. We've got Gilberta, Gilberto Silva that's going to be coming. We'll show you him in a second. That has been added to the database. We also have Petr Cech, and we have Patrick Vieira. Now, I think Patrick Vieira, we'll just take a quick look at Czech here. I think Patrick Vieira is going to be probably one of the best cards um, that they're going to bring out, especially with the booster. You have to bear in mind that all of these stats do not take the booster into effect. And the manager issue at the moment with the manager uh, stats not being replicated in game compared to the game plan um, is going to be a factor in all of these cards. But again, even with Petr Cech here, most of the big time cards and the booster cards, the legends that have been releasing have not got less than 30 levels to go, right? Even the beastly versions of uh, Collar and, you know, any of those guys, they're around the 30 level mark for most of the boosters that they have released. This would mean that if you're popping up, you can't really see the, the goalkeeper here, but it's just down here. With the goalkeeper stats, you'll see a change there. You'll pretty much be able to get all of these stats very, very high, which is going to be nice for a card like this. I know a lot of people love Petr Cech. And also on top of that, lads, you are going to be getting as well the booster. So the booster is probably going to boost pretty much all of these stats as close to 90 as possible. We already had a Gilberto Silva 
card that was in the database last year but this booster version of him has got one touch pass he's got man marking interception blocker he's also got 70 speed straight off the rip so again if we were to predict what he'll be at even if we were to give him 27 levels and pop maybe 10 in 12 into defending maybe five or six into this to get 75 we're still going to have that dexterity quite nice and i think that a lot of the problem with a lot of these cards is the fact that as a as a kind of an anchorman um you don't need to have speed and acceleration but if you do have it it is always a bonus but last but not least is going to be paddy b lads i mean if he has that 31 levels as well as the booster here he is going to be a problem right he's got destroyer he doesn't have blocker so you need to give him blocker i have blocker if i do spin for him i have blocker on standby of course we have his epic here we have his legend card here and this one that they've just added looks to be an absolute machine um the epic version was one of the best players that they ever released i don't think a lot of people will spin for this guy if they do have the epic one but the epic one actually has a plus one in everything apart from acceleration but he's only got 27 levels and no booster so i reckon that this is going to be the best viera and probably the best destroyer dmf or center midfielder that they've ever released in the game right and again just taking those 31 levels as a guide right you're going to pretty much have one of the most dominant players in the game that's actually going to be quite quick he's going to be quite mobile he's going to be able to play a little bit of ball he's going to still have a little bit of box to box dribbling like 80 type possession you're going to have 80 low pass you're going to have dexterity and speed and acceleration over 80 physical contact at 88 and then if you want to make him your defensive unit you can have 97 tackling with that build there 4 2 4 8 7 13 just see there um so yeah this is going to be a good i think selection for people that have been waiting for an absolute beastly pack but yeah that is it for me don't forget to subscribe if you haven't like and subscribe the video subscribe to the channel we'll be testing out these players if we do spin from on monday let me know if you guys would like to see that until then lads i will talk to you in a bit just a little monday preview let me know if you're going to spin or skip and i will see you tomorrow in the live stream peace